Traders, we have got an exciting new release for you in the world of automated technical analysis, and we're just going to jump to it. The first thing we're going to do is go to our indicators, metrics, and strategies menu. We're going to make sure we've got technical selected here. Then naturally, we have some subcategories here for indicators, strategies, profiles, but for the world of automated technical analysis, you want patterns to be selected because now you have two patterns to choose from. You've got chart patterns here, and if you scroll down, you've got candlestick patterns down here. The second you click anything on this list, the chart will instantly look, identify, scan, and draw these specific patterns and technical analysis for you. Now, this video is about two new additions to this data set. Those are the cup and handle chart pattern. We're going to click that. It's now been added to our chart. It says cup and handle here. And also the inverse cup and handle chart pattern. We're going to click that. And now it's been added here as well. So the second we exit out of our indicators, metrics, and strategies menu, we are going to see that a cup and handle pattern has been drawn essentially instantly right before us. And now what we can do here is observe the price action, the technical analysis, and do some research into what happened. So first of all, before we dive into the details here, let us first just remind you what a cup and handle is. We also want to tell you what an inverse cup and handle is. First of all, a, a cup and handle is actually known as a bullish pattern. The reason why it's considered bullish is because there is this initial dropping period that occurs. This drop can be considered sort of a washout of sellers or a tipping point in the supply and demand dynamics. However, after the washout occurs, there seems to be a bottom, and then it's almost as if the buyer demand picks back up might consider perhaps the weaker hands left here, the stronger, more convicted hands bought it on the way back up. And what happens is you create this cup. It looks like a cup. You can imagine this area filled in with your favorite tea or beverage of choice, and you've now created a cup. However, keep in mind that a cup needs a handle, and that is where it gets its name because you can see the handle has also automatically been drawn on the chart because specific criteria was met. After a cup and handle formation is created, it then has a target price that is drawn like so. What's rather interesting in this first example is it looks like the target price was nearly hit perfectly and then price retreated. Now, cup and handles have statistics behind them. They have been observed throughout markets for a very long time and they are studied in technical analysis because they seem to pop up time and time again for the reasons that we just explained. In fact, if we go to a chart of Disney, this is rather interesting, you will see a cup and handle is forming as we record this video. So actually there is a cup and handle in action at this very moment. And if you wanna follow along over the coming days or weeks, well, the choice is ultimately yours. What is important to note is that these formations, like all formations in charting and markets and technical analysis, do not always work, but they serve as a guideline based off of how price has moved in the past and what's possible. They serve also, to some degree, as a risk management tool to better understand maybe how price could move depending on what you're looking to do. And as you can see here, the cup has been formed on this Disney chart. The handle has also been formed, and now there is this target price. Let's check back on this chart in a few weeks or months to see what happens. So that is a cup and handle. This is how it is presented to you on the chart. And before we get into the details of this automatic cup and handle tool, let us show you the example of an inverse cup and handle because this tool has also been added to the automatic chart patterns on TradingView. Now an inverse cup and handle is actually considered a bearish pattern. It is the opposite of a cup and handle in the sense that it is inverted. It's upside down. Now, if we were to invert our chart, actually, you'll notice that this chart or this cup and handle, if you know, we flip it upside down, would look just like the regular cup and handle. So if you don't know what the word inverted means, well, now you have an example. It's essentially, it's inverted. It's flipped upside down. It's going the other way. Now, why is this pattern bearish? Well, the reason why this pattern is considered bearish 
is because there was buying pressure on the way up, but it wasn't exactly met with more buying pressure. Actually, the opposite, it seemed to then tilt back down, suggesting that the buyers just couldn't keep it up. Actually, it reversed and started to trend downward. Once again, the inverted cup and handle also has a handle, a handle forms. It's this line that comes out of the cup itself. In this case, you can see because it was a bearish pattern, the target was down here. But sure enough, actually, the chart got rather bullish after that point. It's kind of a good reminder that these patterns do not always work. And it's important for us to show you that they don't always work. But also, sometimes they can be great tools to map out these chart patterns that have been observed time and time again. Now, we are going to check out another cup and handle pattern, this time on a chart of Carvana. And we want to show you some ways that you can use this tool. First of all, we've got our stock screener down here at the bottom. And if we click this to open our stock screener, while having our cup and handle and inverse cup and handle tools on the chart, we can quite literally click any symbol in our, in our screener, and we can watch to see if any of these patterns form right before our eyes. So you can quickly scan through your screened list of stocks for this pattern. If you have a watch list, you can do the same thing. Click through your watch list while you have these automatic detection methods added to your chart and if they spot this specific formation they will draw it on your chart as such now as we go back to the carvana chart it's time to walk you through the settings menu so that you fully understand all of the capabilities first of all the settings menu for the cup and handle chart or automatic pattern and the settings menu for the inverse cup and handle automatic pattern share a lot in common so we are simply going to explain one of them and you can take what you learn from this settings menu and apply it to the other so as you can see here visibility says patterns we click and it says all well this gives you the ability to only show cup and handle patterns depending on their current status so awaiting and reached it means that they are they are happening, but the target has not, but the and the target has been reached. Awaiting means the cup and handle formation is forming, but the target has not been reached. And then last awaiting. So you have different options to select in this settings menu. You also have the price targets here, which you can once again click the drop down, and you get to decide whether or not you want to show price targets. We just click none. And now they're gone. And you also get options to essentially decide whether you want those targets to be shown because they are awaiting, meaning they're in progress, or if they've already been reached. This one has already been reached because it's slightly back in time here. Or all of them show you all of the different price target options. Next up, things get really important here in this settings menu. But before we do go to that, we just want to remind you that you also can customize the look and feel of your cup and handle pa pattern as needed. So currently this color is set to default, but if we wish we can change our cup and handle pattern to any of these colors, we just selected blue. We can also change the line thickness as needed or the design of it, such as dotted or dashed. You can also add an arrow in as necessary. Why don't we keep this solid for now? And of course the line thickness as well. So if you want a very thick line or a not so thick line, the choice is ultimately yours. And this also involves customizing the background of the cup and handle itself. All traders and investors have different looks, styles, feels for their charts. So having the ability to create a fully custom colored cup and handle to your needs is quite important. In fact, we can see it says cup and handle here. It's kind of got this pinkish color with white text. Well, we can hide that if we wish, just like that or we can have that match our cup and handle as well. And now we have created this cup and handle that fits our exact style and needs. Now let's get into the settings menu here because this is quite important. Important. Essentially in this settings menu between permissible deviation, handle max rollback, cup max rollback, and in progress on or off are how you are going to tell the chart 
to look for these cup and handles because it's very important that people draw cup and handles in all sorts of different ways. They have different parameters, they have different starting points, they have different connecting points, and you never will find an exact science. But there is an agreed upon default settings, and there is sort of an agreed upon general framework for drawing cup and handles. And by using the permissible deviation, the handle max rollback, and the cup max, cup max rollback, you can tell the chart that you want to include specific types of cup and handles. So we can hover our mouse over this tooltip for permissible deviation, currently set to 15, and it says the maximum allowable difference in the price of the edges of the cup as a percentage of the height of the cup. So if you wanted to expand this percentage, well, we could type in, say, 75. So now it's really going to change the drawing and the look and feel of the cup and handle. In fact, you can actually see the way it changes its shape right before your eyes. So watch the connecting points because essentially this permissible deviation is changing how this cup and handle is drawn. The same thing with your handle max rollback. Hover your mouse over the tooltip. The maximum allowable price rollback in the handle as a percentage of the cup height. So this is your chance to really control sort of this handle component. By default, it's at 61.8. Why don't we type in 75 here? And nothing changed right off the bat, but we have essentially changed the calculation at its core and expanded it. We can also do the cup max rollback, and we can either have that checked on or by default, it's off. And what exactly does that mean? Once again, hover your mouse over the tooltip. The checkbox enables checking for a trend before the pattern. If the checkbox is enabled, the second entry in the row adjusts the maximum allowable price rollback in the cup as a percentage of the height of the previous trend. Then, of course, a very important setting is in progress, toggling that on or toggling that off. And in progress, hover your mouse over the tooltip means enabling the search for incomplete patterns that are in the process of being formed. Now, a good example of that is if we go to Disney, which we showed you earlier, this cup and handle is essentially still forming to some degree. Let's see if it is still forming. Ah, to some degree, it looks like it is, it is uh, not in progress. But when you have this feature toggled off, it will no longer identify cup and handles in progress. It will only look for cup and handles that are potentially forming in this very point in time. Now, this does lead us to one more important point about this chart and how you can use this tool. And why don't we go back to, for example, well, let's stick to Disney for, uh, let's go back to where we started. Let's go to Hub, Hubs, which is HubSpot. And here's our cup and handle. One of the more effective ways to utilize this tool for automatic chart pattern detection is you have the capability to draw your cup and handles on the chart. So as an example, let's say we were actually back in time here. We're looking at this chart of HubSpot. Say you saw a cup and handle before your eyes. Well, you could draw this cup and handle utilizing one of the many drawing tools available to you. Why don't we try this arc tool here? And we've got this arc. Let's definitely increase the, the line color so you can see this better, make it slightly thicker. So essentially what we're doing here is we are drawing a cup and handle. And the point here is that we are saying to ourselves, pretend we have not turned on the automatic detection tool yet. We are saying we think we've identified a cup and handle on this chart and we want to play this breakout. This looks like a cup and handle breakout forming right before our eyes. Well, you guessed it. You can open up your indicators, metrics, and strategies menu, click technicals, patterns, click cup and handle, and check to see if your technical analysis matches up with what the chart is automatically detecting and drawing. It's a great way to test and to compare and contrast your drawings to the automatic detection methods on TradingView. So ladies and gentlemen, this is not only a tutorial on automatic technical analysis on TradingView, specifically for automatically drawing these patterns, but it is really a deep dive into the cup and handle formation, the inverse cup and handle formation, and how to use these tools in technical analysis, not only for your research and your planning, but also to create a process 
that fits your needs and to customize your chart to your exact specifications. So ladies and gentlemen, please be sure to read all of the material we have in our help center about this. Subscribe to our YouTube channel where I'm recording videos essentially daily for these important educational topics. And we will teach you how to use these tools on a daily basis. Thanks for watching.